Welcome back to Circle Time. I am Mrs. Mo. What is your name? Ah, lovely to meet you. Welcome once again to Circle Time. Now, let's go to our days of the week. Do you remember your day of the week song? Do you? If you do, well done. If you don't, just listen and try to sing along. There are seven days of the week. There are seven days of the week. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days of the week. There are seven days of the week. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job everyone and well done for singing along. Do you remember what day it was yesterday? Yes, yesterday was Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. So let's move this over here. So, the day of the week is Thursday. The day of the week is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Well done, everybody. Now, let's look at our wonderful board. And it's time for rhyme time. Today, we are going to be exploring sounds. Sounds and music. So, we're going to do this rhyme. And I'm sure everyone knows this song it's a very very popular song and if you know it i want you to do the action as well so in our in our song today we're going to be using our hands to make sound what sound can you make with your hands can you clap your hands yes if you can clap your hands well done let's give it a try okay after the count of three i want you to clap your hands one two three clap one two three one two three clap did you clap your hands yes if you did well done good job everybody so let's go to the nursery rhyme for today if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it and your face will surely show it that you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it and your face will surely show it that you're happy and you know it clap your hands well done everybody and good singing so let us look at our board what pictures do we have on the board today what pictures do we have on the board today what are this if you said musical instruments well done i am sure you would have seen one or two I'm sure you know what they are, but let us explore their names and we'll learn the sounds that they make. Okay, so let's see the first one that we have here. This is a piano. This is a piano. Can you see it? It has white and black keys on it and it makes this sound. I want you to listen. Can you hear the sound? Yeah, so that is the sound that the piano makes. Good job, everybody. Next, we have a violin. We have a violin. And this is the sound that the violin makes. Let's listen, everybody. That is the sound that the violin makes. Over here, we have maracas we have maracas you shake them to make the sound and this is what they sound like when you shake them can you all listen yes that is the sound maracas make when you shake them so these are maracas well done everybody can you guess what this is did you say drums yes this is a drum set this is a drum set you can see all the lovely drums that are here 
and this is a drum set okay so here's the sound that the drum set makes can we all listen did you hear that that is the sound that drums make oh uh, and last we have the guitar we have the guitar so this is a guitar it has lovely strings that you pull to make music so you pull on the strings of the guitar to make music and can we all pause for a while and listen this is the sound that the guitar makes are you listening so well done everybody i'm sure now you can recognize the sounds that this musical instruments make when we t when we play them okay so today we're going to be making our own musical instrument with things that we can find around us over here i have an empty bottle so i have an empty bottle and i have a cup do you know what's in my cup do you want to see in my cup i have some beans i have some beans in my cup so i'm going to open my bottle I'll take a handful of beans and I'll pour that in the bottle. You have to make sure the bottle is nice and dry. So now that we have the seasoning, we're going to shake them. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Well done. So if this is a very simple way to make musical instruments with things in your house. So. In another bottle, I have some beads in. So when you're singing your nursery rhymes, you can make your shakers and you can use them to make music as you sing along. So let's make this a bit fancy. I have some leftover wrapping paper from Christmas. So I'm going to use it to make my bottle, my bottle shaker, a bit more fancy. So I'm going to wrap this round. You can ask an adult to help you cut some paper, some wrapping paper that you can stick onto it so i'm going to just wrap it around i'll put some cello tape on it so i'll put some more cello tape on it if you can't do this you can ask an adult to help you with this And there we have it. Very simple and very easy to make. And you have your musical instrument. You can play with your nursery rhymes. Well done, everybody. I want you to try, give it a try around your house. You could put any type of beans in it. If you have beads like mine, you could put beads in it. But make sure you do not put it in your mouth. Do not put it in your mouth. And if you need to cut any paper, you need to cut with safety scissors with adult supervision. Remember, scissors are sharp, so you shouldn't play with scissors. Let us go to our letter of the day. What is our letter of the day? Our letter of the day is, I'm not going to tell you yet, so can you tell me what this is? Did you say C? Well done. So this is letter C. This is letter C. What sound does C make? What sound does letter C make? Yes, if you said k, k, well done. Yes, letter C makes the k sound. Letter C makes the k sound. What? Let us find words that start with the letter C. Now I need you to look around your house and find some things that start with the letter C. C makes the sound there is a popular animal that starts with the letter C and the sound the animal makes is meow meow can you get what was can you guess what animal that is did you say cat yes well done cat starts with the letter C C is for cat cat I have some things here that start with the letter C as well can you remember my cup with the beans yes cup 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 starts with the letter C. C is for cup. C, cup, c -c cup. 
Good job, everybody. What color is this cup? Is it blue? Well done if you said blue. So this is a blue cup. Cup starts with the letter C. I have something here that is good for you to eat. Can you tell me what this is? It's nice, big and orange. What is this? It's a vegetable called a carrot. Carrot starts with the letter C. C is for carrot. K, K, carrot. K, K, carrot. C is for carrot. Good job, everyone. Do you know what this is? I've got a big one, a very big one, and I have a small one. So these are birthday cards. So card starts with the letter C. C is for card. Can you point to the big one? Is this the big one? No. Is this the big card? Yes. So this is the big card and this is a small card. So, so card start with the letter C. K, K, card. K, K, card. C is for card. Good job, everybody. Now we practice how to write the letter C. Let's put our practice board over here. As we learn to write the letter C. So we are going to do the two of them at the same time because they look alike. So we have the uppercase C, which is just a nice curve. And we have the lowercase C, which is a smaller curve. So this is the uppercase C and this is the lowercase C. Can we try that again? This is the uppercase C, which is nice and big. And then the lowercase C is a nice small curve. C, C, uppercase C and lowercase C. You need to practice your writing every single day. So you need to get a pen and a paper or a pencil and a paper and you need to practice your writing. Well done everybody for practicing your writing. Now we'll go to the number of the day. We're going to the number of the day. Can we sing our number songs? Do you remember it? If you don't remember it, just keep listening and I'm sure you'll get it very soon. Let's count to ten. Let's count to ten. Would you count with me? Would you count with me? Let's count to ten. Let's count to ten. Count with me. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, everybody. Good counting. So today, our number of the day is number four. Our number of the day is number four. Number four. So we're going to, we have our lovely magnet here, and we're going to count them, and we're going to count four. So count this magnet with me. One, two, three, four. So how many magnets do we have on the board? Let's count it all together. One, two, three, four. So I have two red magnets and I have two green magnets. So I have two red magnets on this side and I have two green magnets on the other side. So if I put them all together, how many magnets do I have? Let's count it all. One, two, three, four. Good counting everyone, well done. So I need you to find four toys in your house or it could be four books or four things around you, line them up and count up to four. One, two, three, four. You need to do this so you can practice your counting. Good job everyone and well done. So we're going to learn how to write the number four. Let's put our practice board back here and we'll learn to write the number four now. To write number four, we're going to draw a line that is slanted a straight line then we'll find the middle of the straight line and put a line that is how to write the number four let's do it one more time slanted line 
a straight line and a line in between did you do that if you did well done if you didn't get it at first you just need to practice 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 and that's how you get better at it so let's talk about the weather today what's the weather today what is the weather outside today have you checked your windows if you haven't checked your windows if you, or if you haven't been outside i need you to check now and tell me what the weather is like where you are is it sunny is it sunny with very few clouds is it partly sunny with some clouds and some sunshine is it cloudy where you are or is it raining where you are i have looked outside my window and it is very very sunny and very very hot today so today the weather today where i am is sunny good job everyone well done for learning your days of the week well done for singing along well done for learning your musical instruments and the sounds that they make well done for practicing your letter c counting up to number four i need you to keep practicing how to write your letters and your numbers i'll see you again tomorrow bye for now